So if the plasma cutter is trying to maintain a, a correct height between the torch and the workpiece, how is it going to do this? Well, I'll just draw the electrode again. We won't draw the rest of the parts for this exercise. But essentially you have the electrode and you have your piece of material down below. Travelling between the electrode and the workpiece is this current. Now, the, the electricity is travelling through gas. It's not as conductive as metal, but it's still the easiest path. However, the gas that's in between, even though it's ionised, creates a resistance to the current. Now, if you were to have the torch a long way from the job, the arc has to travel through a greater distance of gas. This means a higher resistance. So, because the plasma cutter is a current control device, for instance, you may have 60 amp consumables, even 100 or 200 amp consumables, the plasma cutter control unit is trying to maintain a constant flow of current through that spark gap. So, in order to be able to maintain a constant current with a bigger gap, the plasma has to increase the voltage to maintain that same current flow. On the other hand, if the electrode was to get very close to the job, then of course the gap becomes very small. Therefore the resistance is lowered and the current's able to travel much more freely. So the control unit actually has to drop the voltage in order to keep the current flowing constantly between the electrode and the job. The result is that we get this voltage that is completely proportional to the distance of the torch to the job. Essentially, if you were to put a voltmeter between the electrode and the job, you get a voltage. Now that voltage is going to raise if the electrode is too high. It's also going to fall if the electrode gets too close. So what the machine does is it actually does this. It measures the voltage constantly between the electrode and the workpiece. And it's able to manipulate the torch height and in effect it's able to track the surface of the material during cutting. Very important to get the perfect cut quality because as we said earlier, if you're too low or too high, you're not going to get good results. This method of controlling the torch height is often known as AVC or automatic voltage control. And it's a traditional way of controlling the torch height and it's one of the most reliable also. You'll notice that in the plasma manual that comes with your machine, that it actually has a optimum voltage for each type of material and consumable combination. This is a very critical thing that you need to put in by the book. And you also need to learn some techniques to be able to compensate for things like uh, electrode wear and also nozzles and, and different gas problems.